people call it the Vitelli turn in Europe and North Americans call it the Euro carve. But anyways, it's one of the sickest moves in snowboarding. It's definitely legendary and it takes us back to the 80s. So today we're gonna see how it's done. The Vitelli turn or the Euro carve obviously was a hard boot move. Uh, it started when you know there was a lot of angles on the board and where you could actually lean a lot without having your boots touching the snow. So today I've been taking a slightly wider board because it's a move that happens on hard pack. And what happens when you take a lot of angles, if your boots stick out of your board, you're gonna touch the snow with your boots and you're gonna lose your edge. With normal soft boot, it's uh, physically impossible to do it on the backside unless it's like soft snow or, or powder. Uh, so today we're going to concentrate on the toe side. So you need a terrain that's steep, but not too steep, because if it's too flat, you're not going to have enough speed to come out of your turns. So basically, you're going to need a lot of space because it's a turn which is going to require a lot of traverse. You need to have a really smooth surface because any time you're going to have any bumps, it's going to make you lose your edge. you're gonna start your turn really low and you're gonna absorb the pressure to make sure that your legs can extend and your whole body can extend and that's the moment where you're gonna have this rad position that everybody loves and then to get out of your turn you're gonna compress again to get your edge to grab the snow again so it's actually the opposite of a normal carving turn so the whole trick to being able to do a Vitelli turn happens the moment that you want to start your next turn. So instead of waiting to be in the fall line, you're going to lower yourself straight away as you're still going almost uphill, like kind of 90 degrees from the fall line. And you're going to try to go down, bend down and put your hands on the snow. Super important to have your rear forearm that's going to stand forward like this. And so that's the beginning of your turn. And from there, you're going to extend and your upper body is gonna stay like this. So remember that rectangle here. That's like, that's your key position and it shows in the direction that you're going. You need to find a bit the balance between the front and the back to make sure that your edge keeps on going in a nice way and that it doesn't close your turn too much or like pull you out of the turn. From there, you need to tuck your legs underneath you. The pressure is gonna build on your head, on your head and you're gonna stand back up, easy. A nice way to practice before you start leaning on the snow is to do normal carving, trying to be super, super low. So you're gonna touch a little bit the snow with your rear end. And what you can do also with your front hand is to grab your heel edge a bit like a melon grab. So you can even push a little bit at the exit of your turn, you can push your legs a little bit and that's gonna give you a really feel for it. You know everything about the Euro Cup, the Vitelli turn. It's not the move that you want to do the first thing when you try snowboarding, but it's one of the sickest moves. It looks rad and I really encourage you to go and try it because you will impress all the guys and ladies, like whoever you want to impress. <laughs> have fun guys and have a good winter.